Hey folks, today I'm in Washington State climbing Mount Baker. Let's do it. Mount Baker is an active volcano located 15 miles south of the Canadian border in the northern Cascades. I flew into SeaTac and took a lift to Seattle, where I had a gear check at 4 o'clock that afternoon. Just had a gear check at the main office and that went pretty well, so we're ready to meet tomorrow at 5.45 and head out. See you then. I checked out the Space Needle area before heading back to the Mar Queen Hotel to spend the night. We left Seattle at about 6 a.m., had a bite to eat at the Calico Cafe in Mount Vernon, and then on to the Mount Baker NRA trailhead at 3,425 feet. From there, we set off through the forest up the Park Butte Trail. At 4,800 feet, we traded in the forest for Alpine Meadows and the railroad grade trail. Pushing further uphill, the views were amazing. Soon we found ourselves in camp, which was spectacular. Alright, so this is our high camp. We rested during the afternoon, had dinner, and were in our tents before the sun went down. The next day we hung around camp, acclimatized, and had snow school. Rainy morning. Our training was focused largely on self-arrest, rope travel, crampon technique, and ice axe usage. Those skills needed for the climb. No footage, but my Rainier video has a little bit. Immediately after class, it started to rain, and it continued into the night. The rain moved out, and wake-up call was at about 12.30. We ate a climber's breakfast of oatmeal and roped up. It took about 20 minutes to get onto the Easton Glacier. If I remember correctly, we took four breaks on the way up. Sunrise on a mountain like this is always an amazing experience. <laughs> the best break was at the crater rim. Wow. Baker was making a lot of noise and I was wondering if it was as a result of an earthquake that occurred a couple days earlier. Although the glacier isn't particularly steep, our route was fairly direct. Once up the Roman Wall, it was a leisurely stroll to the summit, also known as Grant Peak, at 10,781 feet. It's the tallest mountain in the Northern Cascades. That was about 4,680 feet of gain for the summit climb and took about five hours with breaks. The summit is actually a 1,300 foot deep mound of ice hiding a massive volcanic crater. We snapped some photos and, and looked down on Mount Shuxon, then we started our descent. Look at all that steam, man! I understand. I climbed in mid-July, when the weather is often good and before the crevasses really start opening up all over the mountain. We descended the same route, packed our bags at camp, and then continued to the trailhead, losing about 7,500 feet in elevation from the summit. Grab a uh, that waterproof thing. Adjust yourself. I also take those gators off. You know?
Shaker impressed me. It was more demanding than I was expecting, which made it more rewarding. Back in the van, we stopped for some beers and dinner on the way back to Seattle, and that was it. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.